Hi everyone, it's Elle here to do a collective reading. Uh, if it resonates for you or with you, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you for all of the support. Thank you for your well wishes. Thank you for just all of the um, nice, uh, warm comments, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the collective with a clear, concise message. All right. So, it looks like some of you were taken for granted, maybe in a relationship. And even though you were taken for granted, you might want this person back. It is definitely a question of... Have you learned your lesson? Or has the other person learned the lesson? I don't know. This person could want you back because you make them happy. You bring a level of enjoyment, fulfillment within their life. Okay? All right. So let's see what we got going on here. What does spirit want to tell the collective? You have the devil card coming out. Okay. So um, we've got the devil card showing up. Some of you could just be dealing with a Capricorn person or you just need to be cautious of the choices that you make because it can lead you down the rabbit hole to where you look up and you're like, how did I end up in this? How did this happen? What is going on? Just all of the questions of, um, of why, what for? Also, the devil card says make sure you don't you know, overdo it, overindulge. Make sure that there is a level of seriousness and not just playfulness in terms of your relationships, especially if you know you want seriousness, okay? If you want a committed relationship. Don't be too swayed by outward appearance, appearance, attractiveness, sex. This card specifically talks about uh, not being extravagant in your choices. Make, make sure you don't make a choice that's gonna lead you down the road of entrapment or feeling indebted to bound. It also could talk about debt to altogether. Make sure you're not over indulging, overdoing it, overspending, uh, going into debt for, I don't know, you know? Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. Um, so, so whatever choice you make here is going to directly affect your fortune. The story behind this card is that the fates, um, the lady, the lady fates are behind this Wheel of Fortune, turning the wheel for all of us, um, making sure we all get our just due, just cause. What, uh, what is due unto you will come to you. Uh, what is destined to be will be but you can always shift your destiny your fate here uh, due to free will so it's like make sure you make a, a good choice or the right choice or a better choice uh, because you can you can really mess up your fate here your destiny your fortune um, some of you it could be directly related to your money your long-term goals and um, aspirations maybe even your reputation here this also could be a direct message to my masculine out here make sure that uh, choices that you're making if you if you have addictions if you are obsessed if you need you need to get in control of something about your some element about you because it can directly affect uh, your money your reputation uh, how people see you uh, you can lose expertise status in your career field I mean you can really just mess up things for you okay uh, once again making the wrong choice can lead you down that rabbit hole so um, and also for my, my my feminines too okay let's see what else is going on here it says that something is supposed to happen um, also this can read as toxic karmic soulmate too you know this is something you need to you need to learn something from this person you need to learn something from being in connection relationship here 
Um, hopefully it builds your character. It helps you shift something within you, okay? What else do you want to tell the collective? All right, what else do we want to tell the collective? What else do you want to tell the collective? Okay, okay, so the Eight of Pentacles. Um, make sure you're making the right choice. S some of you, you've been in some cyclical, some cycle with uh, maybe a karmic a karmic soulmate here. Um, it's been off and on, it's been hot and cold, it's been up and down. Um, there can even be an energy of one person uh, loving the other person a little more. If not loving them more, the other person is more invested, either financially, money-wise, well, um, excuse me, financially, uh, emotionally, maybe time spent. Um, there's just an energy of, uh, also, there's an energy of, uh, of, of a cycle, cyclical. You and this person, you go in and out. You go off and on with each other. The relationship goes in phases, okay, to where it could be really good at one period, and it could be really bad. It could be, um, you know, uh, non-existent, where you're, you're not talking, you're not communicating, um, and that definitely affects uh you, you being with this person. Also, some of you, you need to be a little bit more concerned with um, work. You need to be more concerned with your business, with bringing in money. Um, some of you are listening to something over and over again, and it could be tarot card readings, okay? Um, some of you are putting uh, work over love or you need to do so. Some of you, maybe my masculines have neglected home. Yeah, neglected home and, and not putting a lot of uh, love or, or time spent. Okay. And some of you are just working way too hard to meet somebody new. Um, you're doing something over and over again. I don't know if you go to the same places, if you are on social media, you're online dating. Um, also, someone could be thinking of you over and over again. Maybe this karmic soulmate here. Um, also, this is an energy of trying over and over in the relationship. Um, it's just not working. You put uh, your, your effort into it and it's not working. Therefore, you need to examine what's going on here. Yeah, one party is just more invested. And therefore, they keep, they keep the drive and the dedication going, trying to make the the project that is this relationship trying to make it work but it just doesn't work here you could be dealing with um who do we have on the table capricorn pisces sagittarius virgo um let's see the ten of cups coming out now there's a lot of love here but there's not a lot of realness to the connection. There's not a lot of realization. If it's that you want to take the relationship to the next level, you want to move in, you want to get engaged, you want to have a baby, you want to do this, you want to do that. That doesn't necessarily happen because you guys are working off of emotion, um, maybe a facade here. The stage is set for happiness. And also if you and another person are at, um, at, at odds right now, somebody wants to call a truce again. They just want to let bygones be bygones. We don't need to talk about anything and dissect it. We just need to come back together because we make each other happy. The happiness factor, the whimsical of, of emotions, they come and they go. Um, Somebody is more so working off of how they feel than what is real, uh, what is true, okay? Um, okay, and we have the emperor showing up. Okay. Could be uh, a father figure here, a husband, boss, CEO, someone really grounded in their, um, rooted grounded in their foundation they've created a firm foundation for themselves nine of wands but yeah somebody is not 
someone is wondering if they should continue to fight for this connection because it's been terrible. It's been up and down. It's been so volatile. It's been rocky. Um, there is withdrawal. Someone has taken a step back here. Definitely someone has taken a step back because they have to ask themselves, do I continue working on this thing? I've given it so much time, so much effort, so much work, and it's not working. This could be a marriage for some of you, if not a marriage, a long-term commitment. Some of you have children. That is the glue that kind of holds you two together. But at the same time, there's been no realization of the relationship, of where it's going, of what you're doing. There is no there is dedication, loyalty from one side and maybe not another. The Nine of Wands talks about um, someone looking at the past, a single person looking too much at the past. Therefore, they can't see their future because they're always looking backwards. There is separation here in terms of you and another person. And it's due to the fact that there has been drama. There has been discord, disruption. There has been lack of seriousness. Maybe even lack of commitment here. Let's see. What is the advice for the collective here? The advice. Three of Pentacles. All right, so you get the Three of Pentacles. Work, again, works. or working together. You and someone else need to learn how to either build, build a life together or share your life with one another. Some of you are doing some really high quality work, you know, in your career and finance sector and superiors are looking at you. What you're putting your time ever into will pay off because this is where you should be. Um, this is the initial stages of creation. Just keep going. You're going to see something uh, stabilize for you. The Empress. Yeah. Again, another three card. So abundance, openness, beauty. Uh, sophistication um, new beginning beginning some of you you need to put more time energy and effort into what you can create and it may be something that is creative in nature um, or, or something that you do by way of um, you build something or you create something or this might be something you need to do alone you have the world card you got 333 coming up you could be seeing that um, you need to also know your worth, okay? And, and we've got the emperor and the empress on the board. So we've got uh, mother earth and father time. So um, we do have a divine connection here. We do have a soulmate connection. But it seems as if one person is serious and the other person isn't so the cards are asking maybe the feminine energy here to go your own way and create the life that you want to create the seven of pentacles you've done the work in terms of investing um you are frustrated with how the relationship is going and you're willing to see it through but at the same time there is a period of inactivity of inaction and at this time you need to be focused on you and focused on the harvest um, focused on what you have put into yourself or, or maybe what you have not put into yourself. You get three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, which would make the ten of pentacles. So you need to be focused on, uh, some of you are going to marry into money. As I say that, the six of wands, you're going to have help in your business. Some of you are on the right path in terms of long-term goals. Um, some of you uh, just, just do know that you need to focus on yourself and your own empire because this person this uh, counterpart here is not able to give you what you want because it seems as if you both want two different things, okay? Um, and you need to maybe extract yourself from this connection because this person may have even had you as an option, okay? Um, they had you vying for their attention, uh, competing with other people. They had you uh, fighting for what it was you wanted when it, you felt at times you shouldn't have to do that. Um, you, you had put the work, the time, the dedication into the relationship. So this person should have immediately 
uh, noticed your worth and what you bring to the table. But it seems as if you're going to have to walk away from this and rest on your own principles, your own morals, and move on. Um, it seems as if you are walking away, strutting your stuff. You win. You win because you decided not to engage. You disengage, okay? Um, some of you are just going to not uh, be involved in this. It doesn't suit you, and um, it will be a lose-lose battle here. And you also um, lost sight of what you were fighting for, okay? Um, you just didn't understand it anymore, so you kind of uh, withdrew. L closing. Let's, in closing, how does this um, divine masculine feel? How does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminine? Okay. We're going to get a different deck. How does the Divine Masculine feel about the, the Divine Feminine? Um, they have deep feelings for you. They think that you um, are a good catch. Okay. Um, they know that you understand your worth. It's like they feel as if you're very nurturing, caring, abundant. You could be a mother. Um, if you're not a mother, then they feel like you would be a good mother. How does this divine masculine? Okay, the six of pentacles. Um, so they feel like now you have the power because you chose to walk away. You chose to shift the power dynamic. You were waiting for this person to give you all of them while they were dividing themselves amongst you and other people or you and another person. Therefore, you choosing to walk away has shifted the power dynamic and now you have the power in terms of does this relation go forward or not? Uh, this person feels like, yeah, they want to compromise now with the temperance card coming out. They feel like with you, it would be a wealthy marriage. Uh, or they feel like if they let you go, someone is going to marry you. Okay, and you're going to, you could even marry into money or just wealthy in terms of you could really be with this person a long time. You could have longevity uh, or there's longevity with you. So this person feels like, yeah, the Ace of Cups. Um, they either want a new beginning with you. There's a lot of reservation that they have for you, a lot of emotion that they have for you. They also feel like you could find someone new. They also feel like you um, are filled with spirit. You may even be psychic. You could be intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient. Um, they feel as if you... Um, there's an overflowing love that they have for you, this uh, divine masculine here. Um... Let's see, a lot of emotions that they have for you. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you, they want another chance. They sh they feel like they put a lot of work into this, um, and they feel like they should uh, they should be granted another chance. Um, they also are saying that they're working a lot. They're working on themselves. They're working on their business. They're working. Um, maybe they don't have a lot of time to dedicate to love. This person is saying, yeah, they feel like you, this is a divine connection here with the lovers. That you, they feel as if they met you for a reason. Now they understand the connection better. Um, they know that they have to choose, make a choice here. They want to come rushing in, but they know that you're closed off to this. Um... You've gone on your own journey here. This person wants to tell you that they they could be out here just dating people, selling their wild oats, I don't know, doing whatever it is they do. Um, yeah. They aren't serious about anything or anyone right now for whatever reason. And it could be because they want your forgiveness your compassion, they want to be truthful or honest with you, or they want the same from you. They want to tame themselves, or you tame them, or there's a level of calmness or with you. They could be kind of shut off to people being in their heart space. Or, or open in their heart to anyone else right now because they need to do some work on themselves.
they know that they they were probably the cause for the breakdown of the relationship it doesn't look as if they're going to take any action towards you but they definitely have reservations will this divine masculine take any action towards the divine feminine ten of swords yeah they don't they feel like it's over it's completely over they feel like they messed up for the last time with you they want another chance with you but how, how dare them ask the audacity of them to um, ask of you another chance you've given several a four of wands a four of swords they feel like um, they have to heal you need to heal there needs to be a timeout um They let you in on the fact that there were other people or you found out that there were other people. It was definitely suspicion of other people being involved in this connection. And that broke the relationship because the Four of Swords talks about make it or break it. And, and that really broke the connection. The hangman here. Yeah, somebody, they have given up you know moving forward with you uh, it's like they're just waiting for you to come back to them they miss you dearly they see you flourishing abundant doing your thing they're watching you you could be spying on you uh, but they know if they come towards you you're in that queen of swords energy you're going to want truth and clarity or you're going to cut them out again again they want a new start they want to apologize to you uh, but they they do know that this decision to come back together is up in the air because um, of heartbreak heartache a third party situation somebody stirring the pot to where it made it troublesome for you two to come back together they were deceptive uh, in nature they were there's a lot of trickery um, they felt like they were getting away with something and it got found out and therefore they're kind of embarrassed also as i say that the seven of swords is at the bottom of the deck so this is someone who's embarrassed at, at how they acted they're more so embarrassed because they got found out and then they got left i'm getting that this person thought you would never leave them you know they had you under their thumb This person was trying to grow two different relationships and trying to balance between two different relationships and they didn't find anything wrong with it or they didn't find that it was stressful or that it was too much. They were actually comfortable with it. This might even be a person who likes to divide themselves amongst, you know, more than one person. They don't do well with one on one connections because one, one thing I did not see is the two of cups and that talks about one on one connections. This person just wants you back in their space, in their life, um, because you bring a level of fulfillment, happiness, joy. You also put up with a lot of shit and maybe other people didn't, or if they did, it's only because they were giving shit too. So two shitheads putting up with each other. I mean, you know, it, it, they, they knew what they were getting. But with you, it, it was uh, it was different. You gave genuine love, likeness. They hadn't felt that before or they hadn't seen it before. You showed up as genuine and they showed up as disingenuous. Um, but they you kept giving. They just didn't understand it for the life of them. Um, also, they, they weren't sure if you could see um, the toxicity. With the devil card being the first card, the... The toxicity that they brought the the bad that they are uh, I think for a long time they tried to masquerade as something else they tried to parade as something else to you but that that short that was short-lived because they couldn't keep that up especially with you being the queen of swords
So Aquarius, well, I said Aquarius. So some of you could be dealing with Aquarius. Well, this is the collective reading I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question or you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you feel moved to do so. Thank you guys. Um, we get some more readings coming up for you. All right. Take care.